I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one more song for you. No! <laughs> and, um... Someone's in my harmonica. <laughs> Where's my harmonica? I, um, I am so grateful uh, that you guys came to listen to these songs. Rock for a living until I was 36 years old when I put out uh, my first CD. And that took a couple of years after that before I was able to kind of scratch a living out of uh, doing this, uh, playing songs for a living. And um, um, so uh, I think, you know, I, I think because of that, because I kind of got a little bit of a late start at it, I'm just really, really incredibly, I remain grateful. You know, and, uh, I, don't, I don't know a lot. I haven't learned, I'm not a wise person. I haven't learned a lot in this world, uh, but I know just a couple of things. I'm pretty sure, you know, when somebody loves you, that's a good thing, and you should take care of it. And I know that driving around, playing songs for them, beats the shit out of hanging sheep. <laughs> I'm really confident of that one. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna play this song. I'm gonna finish up with this song. It's a song. Uh, called Tiger Tom Dixon's Blues and plays for my buddy Jay and I told that I would play it the last couple times I saw him and I didn't so I'm, and he's a lot bigger man than I am so I better play it tonight. <laughs> and, um, this is a story about my, uh, my great uncle uh, who was a fighter in the late 20s and early 30s. I think that's when it was, roughly from like 29 to 30, 35, 36. And he fought under the name uh, Tiger Tom Dixon. And I heard all these stories about him growing up from my dad uh, and my father's side of the family. There was a whole bunch of real characters. There were a few fighters in the world. So this was his great uncle. And uh, I heard all these great stories about him when I, when I was a kid. My, my favorite one is he belonged to this kind of gambling, drinking club, a private men's club. And uh, he was a big drinker, this guy. And uh, he was on his way down to the club and he was drunk. And he was a pain in the ass, you know, like he was, because he was a he was a rough guy, you know. When he was drinking, people ended up, you know, getting hurt. And uh, the guys in the club saw him coming down the street through through the window, so they ran over and they pulled down all the shades and they locked the door and they went up to the second floor and hid. And he was knocking on the door and knocking, he started kicking the door down. He's coming in. He was out of whiskey and he wanted some more whiskey. He opened a window from the second floor and yelled that they yelled down at him. And they made a deal that he'd go away if they lowered a bottle of whiskey down to him on a piece of rope. <laughs> That's what they did. And, um, none of this stuff is, 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 is in the song, actually, because um, I got these. The, my favorite stories from my grandmother after I had written the song. And Tiger Tom Dixon was, uh, was her brother. So I go over to her house one day. After I'd written the song, this is right when the first record came out, and she was all kind of, you know, thought she got a kick out of it, that I was right about her brother and stuff. And I said, um, so tell me some great Tiger Tom Dixon stories. She was 85 at the time. And she, <laughs> the first thing she said was, oh, that son of a bitch was a menace. <laughs> I said, well, tell me some stuff. And she dug her up some scrapbooks and stuff, and she found this one. Um, uh, they had this great clipping that he was inducted into the, the Dover, New Hampshire Athletic Hall of Fame. If you can imagine such a thing, such a place. It's like a closet in the bottom of the school. Or something like that. And uh, in the newspaper clipping, it said he once fought two men in the same night and knocked them both out. He had a lot of potential. He really was a, he, he was a good fighter from, you know, from my, you know. And his record is in the, you can dig up his record on the, on the internet. Good guys. But uh, my favorite thing about this whole process of writing this song and putting it out is in that where I was sitting with my grandma, she said, uh, at one point she said, you, you know, that wasn't your uncle's real name. And I said, what are you talking about? She said, that wasn't his name. Dixon, you know, that's not a family name. That's, you know, I mean, he, he made that name up for boxing because he had to have a tough name. He couldn't fight with his own name. 
I said, what are you talking about? She said, yeah, you made it up. I said, what was his real name? She said, your great uncle's uh, uh, real name as, as before he changed it to Tiger Tom Dixon was Elmer Wormles. <laughs> Explains a few things. So, uh, anyway, I'm glad I didn't uh, know that when I wrote the song. You all have been just wonderful to play for. Thank you, Cindy, for having me. Thanks to Rob for a beautiful job on the song. Thanks to Matt. Thanks to us.